If $21,000 is invested in an account for 20 years, find the value of the investment at the end of 20 years if the interest is first 8% simple interest per year and then 8% interest compounded annually. To determine the ending balance using simple interest, we will use the formula A equals P sub zero times the quantity one plus RT, where A is the balance after T years, P sub zero is the beginning balance, R is the annual simple interest rate as a decimal, and T is time in years. Which means for the simple interest formula, P sub zero is $21,000, R is 8%, which must be expressed as a decimal, 8% is equal to 0 0.08, and t, the time in years, is 20. Which means the amount after 20 years, a, is equal to p sub zero, which is $21,000, times the quantity one plus r times t, which is 0 0.08 times 20. And now let's evaluate this on the calculator. We have 21,000 times the quantity one plus 0 0.08 times 20, and enter. The balance will be exactly $54,600. Remember for simple interest, the interest payments are based upon the initial investment of $21,000. It is not based upon the increasing balance of the account each year. Now let's determine the balance using 8% interest compounded annually. To determine the ending balance, we will use the compound interest formula shown here, where A is the amount after T years, P sub zero is the beginning balance or initial investment, R is the annual interest rate expressed as a decimal, N is the number of compounds per year, and T is the time in years. So for the compound interest formula, P sub zero is still $21,000. The annual interest rate is still 8%, which is a decimal is 0 0.08. T the time in years is still 20. But because we have compound and interest annually, N, the number of compounds per year is one. Which means the amount A after 20 years, using 8% interest compounded annually is equal to 21,000 times the quantity one plus R divided by N is going to be 0 0.08 divided by one. Because we're dividing by one though, we could leave that off. Raise the power of N times T, where N is one and T is 20, giving us an exponent of one times 20. And now let's go back to the calculator. We have 21,000 times the quantity one plus, of course, 0 0.08 divided by one is just 0 0.08. and one times 20 is 20, so we raise this to the 20th power, and press enter. We're told to round to the nearest cent, because we have a zero in the third decimal place, the value is approximately $97,880.10. Now you might be surprised by how much larger the balance is with compound interest, but when we have interest compounded annually, the interest is paid on the increasing balance, not just the beginning balance, or interest is paid on the interest earned year after year for 20 years. I hope you found this helpful.